P versus Grand Valley State, round one of Nationals 2015. John, why don't you give us that update you just said about the OSU-UMD game? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So OSU's up one nothing with about 14 minutes left in the first half. Uh, from what I heard, uh, my uh, president, Sean, uh, he said it was a fairly, fairly close point. He said uh, Ohio State was up like 6-3 to three at a man advantage, and UMD whittled them down to like 4-2 to two or something like that. But then, um, but then OSU... Uh, stay good and uh, claim the point. There you go. So, yeah. Just like we expected, we thought that would be a really good match. Very close matchup. And, yeah, back to this game. UWP actually showing me something, man. Like, we all, look, we, it's hard going against a juggernaut, like, in any sport that's as dominant as Grand Valley. But that was a 10-minute point, you know? Like, there were a couple signs of, you know, life. Like, you know, it's just they're so, their depth is un unbelievable for... Grand Valley. They have so. such a large pool of players to choose from. I mean, I mean they're, they're yeah, but UWP playing great. I mean, it's yeah, a lot not of a bad a lot, point. Like, no, yeah, not at I all. Saw good things. I saw blocking. I saw fundamentals. And Bailey, if you guys notice, I know you probably didn't get that, but Bailey is stepping out uh, for this game, uh, for this point. Going to give some of the younger kids some playing time, which they might need later today or later in the tournament. And. He's as good of a leader off the court as he is a player on the court, so. That's a rare combination. It really is. It really is. And like I see, you can just tell, like, they're just a little faster off the line. Number 11 goes Number down 11 there. Number 11 goes down for Grand Valley. I would that We thank you all for coming back for point number two oh, yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, thank you. We're having a lot of fun calling these games. Two went out. Logan. Uh, uh, no, it was number number eleven. I think number eleven, maybe. Uh, they have Steve Snyder. Snyder. Steve Snyder. Goes out for uh, Grand Valley on the first. Uh, so really good catch in Cognito. In Crocky. In Crocky. In Crocky. Number. Maybe it's probably in Crocky or something. Yeah. That seems Let's like go four. with in Crocky. Yeah, in Crocky. In Crocky, this sounds kind of weird. Could be right. And, and that's uh, Higby. Hoagie goes out. That's Higby. a huge Higby. I'm sorry. Yeah. That's a huge loss early on for UWP. They need to try to get some catches. Get him in real soon. So far. Good pump fakes, though. Oh, and a There's foot shot. Is that ground now? No, no. Oh. 16 for UWP oh, goes out. They're on opposite sides of the program. <laughs> scrolling up, scrolling down. 16. 16. That's uh, Dominic Cipher goes out from UWP. Oh, it's a great really block. great block. Clutch I, block. I don't know his name. We I can't, see, I can't a see his number. Yeah. That was a great block. Good attempt to catch there. 89 goes out. 89. That would be Brandon Chappell. Brandon Chappell goes out for UWP. As soon as I can get that kid's name for UWP, I'll get, you, I'll get his number. I almost... That was a cannon too, though. I will get his name as well. Kind of a lull in the action here as both teams just kind of push it to the limit of the shot clock. UWP doing a pretty good job so far at this point, I would say. Was 27. That was uh, Drew Van Aston with a missed low throw there for UWP. Group throw does not claim any kills on Grand Valley. He's got a great arm. It's another good block. I'm trying to get his name, trying to get his number, trying to get his name. But seeing the uh, the kid in the uh, he's got like the black gray undershirt. Yeah. He's in the back right now. He's number eight. Um, that's a good kill by uh, 27 right there. 27 goes out for UWP. 27, Drew Van Aston goes out. Yeah, right. 
68 also out for UWC. 68 goes out, Brian Hargrove and seven, Jake Bryle. Let's do a quick count here, John. Looks like we got one, yeah. two, three, four, five. 24, 24 just goes out. Yeah. 93. Oh, I need to sit and dock. Oh, oh, and he oh, oh man. Great try. That's Eric Xander being Xander like an unsung it. hero in that point. You see the blocker? Yeah, he was the blocker. And that kid was uh, Matt. It's number eight. He's given the yellow ball in the middle yes. about the throw. Got a cannon. Yeah, he's got a rifle. Had a nice out. attempt Matt, at a catch Matt's there. Off going out. Number eight. Yeah, it was number eight. eight. Matt. Matt. How do you pronounce that? Mocked. 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 Looks like we got two players left in for UWP. Yeah, I think I saw 11, Joe Stoffel. And number four, Mark Lee Decky. And that's a, and that's great a shot kill. there to the foot. By 22. Missed by number five in Grand Valley. I'm not going to lie, I'm not scrolling all the way back up on my page right now. <laughs> well, we can try to read the names yeah. on the back of their jerseys. The Young. I missed by five, The Young. And a shot there to the hands, takes out number 11. Yeah. What's number 11's name? Oh, uh, that was uh, Joe Stoffel. Yeah. And the elimination was by uh, 22. Like, under. Big long one. Big long one. Hold on. Two more seconds. I'm getting it. I'm getting it. This elimination was by 22. McCoy Wondergam. Wonder Jam, Wonder Jam. We're doing the best we can. We've got a lot of weird names to try to yeah. pronounce, and we apologize again. But Grand Valley goes up 2-0 with 10.51 left in this first half. We will be back with point number three. 